Hello, what's up everyone? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nelson. Welcome. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Um, so yeah, for today's video, I wanted to... Um, come over here and show you guys a drugstore kind of like tutorial because I feel like I always use a lot of high-end products and I know a lot of a lot of people don't really care for spending a lot of money on on skincare and cosmetics in general so I thought it would be a good idea for me to uh, go to the drugstore and grab a product for every step that I do on my makeup routine. This is my new setup. I recently moved. So I'm just trying to figure out like where I would get the best lighting. Uh, right now I'm sitting right in front of the window in my bedroom as you can see and uh, Yeah, there's a little bit of Sun. I don't know if this is good or bad But I hope this is fine Let's see how that goes first I'm gonna use this Maybelline face studio prime it's a pore minimizing primer. I'm just gonna apply about this much. And I'm gonna apply here where I have the largest pores. Which is in the center of my face. For my foundation, I'm gonna use another Maybelline product and it's the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation Normal to Oily Skin and this one is uh, in the shade 340 which is Cappuccino Never used this before, it's brand new Give it a little shake. Okay, I think I think it looks good. Like I think the shade the color is pretty good and I like the texture I like that it's matte because I have oily skin so the concealer that I'm going to use is this one from NYX now NYX Cosmetics is not necessarily a drugstore brand but they're very affordable and they're basically like on the same price range as uh, drugstore brands and it's in the color neutral tan and I'm just gonna apply it a little bit basically just under my eye here and here 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 and here I'm gonna start with this area I guess that like applying makeup in like sunlight is good because you can really see where you're getting cakey you know because the sunlight will clock a bad makeup like so good <laughs> that is not even funny 
This is under the sunlight. This is in like normal lighting. And then next I would contour and for that I have this product right here from Revolution Revolu Makeup Revolution London and this is a stick foundation in the color F16 this is a beautiful shade very nice so let's see how this one goes So this is how I like to contour my cheeks, forehead, my eyes, the tip of my nose, the cupid's bow, and right here around my uh, the angles of my jawline and under my chin. I think I'm gonna still use this brush to blend it in. And I'm gonna start over here. Alright, so next step would be a cream blush and for that I have this product right here. This is called Pet Balm. Um, I don't know, I think the brand is called Pep. Anyways, this guy right here. And I'm gonna use the same brush. I blended my concealer and the contour. I just make sure I saturate the brush very evenly. And I go right here and here. I have two powders over here from the drugstore. One of them is the Maybelline Lasting Fix Loose Setting Powder All Day Matte Finish. This one and the shade is just translucent so it's like the whitish one. And then the second one that I have is an HD powder. It's also a loose powder and the shade banana. So it, it has that yellowy tone. And this one is from a brand called Volt. From it's from Brazil. It's like super yellow. I don't know if I like something like this. But I also don't like a completely white translucent powder I used to have one really nice from Maybelline it was like a beige kind of color and that one was really really good I was thinking that maybe I could mix them both so I put both powder here in the cap I'm gonna mix them both color that it became now it's not as yellow and it's not like super white either so I think this is gonna be good let's Okay, it looks good. Now that my face is set, I can go ahead and use some powder bronzer and powder brush. Blush. Powder blush. I've never used this. This is in the color Sunkissed. 
026. I hope this color shows on my face. It seems like pretty dark. Okay, so let's see how this one works. Tap off the excess. Hmm. Did I do anything? Maybe a little bit? Yeah, I think it did something actually. And I can tell that this is like more on the cool tone side. Very cool. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I think it still looks good. Now I have two blushes over here. One is from uh, Remo London again. It's called a Maxi Blush. And it's a very like plummy color. And under the sunlight I can see that it has some sort of like shimmer to it. And then I also have this one from number seven that I've used a few times. I've had this and I really enjoy it. It's like this very bright, kind of like pink. Should I try this? Let's try it. Because when I saw this color, I was very intrigued to see how it would look on my skin tone. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so the eye pencil that I have here is a Brow Pro Micro Ultra Fine Pe Whoa, I can't speak. Ultra Fine Precision Pencil from Remo London as well in the color Dark Brown. Here. I hope you can see it. It has a spoolie on the other end. The pencil is here on this side and it's a retractable kind of like situation. I can do my brows like this. I can't really see properly with this much light on my face. Oh God, I hope you guys can see what I'm, what I'm doing. So I basically just like giving it a more squared kind of head to the brow because I feel like it looks more it looks like stronger and more like masculine kind of brow shape not that I'm trying to be more masculine but you guys get what I mean I like it okay Remo London Okay, so now I go in with my um, brow gel and this one is also from Remo London Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel with Argan Oil and it's in the color clear so it contains Argan Oil I guess this is supposed to be good to condition your brow hairs okay brow gel come through I mean it's a brow gel it's doing what it's supposed to do so yeah I like it now I think I'm gonna go in with this makeup setting spray now that my brows are done and before I curl my lashes, I that's when I like to use this. It 
smells really good. Ooh, now that I have this laid, I can apply a little bit of uh, highlighter. Just a tiny bit. And the highlighter that I have here is from Wet n, Wet n Wild. Why did I say that so weird? Wet and Wild. It's a duo, so it could be a blush and it could be a highlighter. I hope that this is not glittery because I hate glittery highlighters. A lot of product came out on the brush. Whoa. Let's see. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so that tiniest amount. Oh my god, I don't like it. I think it's too glittery. It's kind of ashy as well, this color. Like, I literally had to, like, blend a lot to make it disappear because, and I still can see this Y cast over here. No. Do not like it. I like to apply just the tiniest amount of mascara because I want my face to look natural and I want my lashes to look natural so I just want to give it some extra color and like volume but ne not necessarily have them look like I have mascara on so I have I got this one I never used this before it's a Maybelline the Colossal 100% black mascara anyways I removed a lot of the product from the wand the brush here and let's see what do you guys think the only thing that is throwing me off now is this highlighter that I totally dislike. Anyways, I have to do my lips now. I kind of like contour my lip and then I blend the, the lip liner inwards so it kind of like fades into my natural lip color. And this way you can also cheat kind of like the size of your lip a little bit. You can make your lips look fuller. Uh, so yeah, I have this lip liner from Remo London again in the color 790 Brownie Pie is what it looks like. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I like it. I like this pencil. It's nice. It's very nice. It's very smooth. And I like the color too. It's very close to my skin tone. So, last but not least, I just apply some lip balm to moisturize my lips and also blend the lip liner. So I have this one from EOS. This is not the first time I use this here. So I'm kind of like applying this to the center of my lip. And then kind of like rub them together.
And this is also tinted, so it kind of like gives you a pinkish, reddish kind of like color to your lips. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you like it, and give me a thumbs up if you really like it, uh, leave your comments, um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say, uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one, thanks for hanging out, subscribe to the channel, um, you can also follow me on Instagram. You can find me there as I am Nelson Rodriguez. And what else? Yeah, I guess that's it, you guys. Just enjoy your day. Have a good one. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.